Hi guys, taking a break from the She Shed remodel, as you can see, to come to you really quickly with a quick, easy craft and super cheap, by the way, that I did with my daughter. I do hope you guys enjoy it. You told me on Instagram that this is something that you wanted to see, so I do hope that I did deliver what you wanted. If you guys enjoy content like this and this is your first time here, click the subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss when I post. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I appreciate you watching y'all. I got these LED lights from Five Below and they were $5. So three LED lights for five bucks. I don't think you can beat that. All right, so my lovely assistant just turned it over. All you need to do is just twist it a bit and it comes up and open so twist it mama twist it back and open open and pull it off and voila very good girl y'all whoa these things are bright look at that I'm just gonna use Rust-Oleum um, and this color is very pink and it actually bonds to plastic. I always buy this one just to be safe so that no matter what I'm doing and crafting, this one always works for most things that you might be spray painting anyway. So just go ahead and get this one. It was under four bucks at Walmart. This is a very small item so you don't need very much spray paint and I'm gonna leave that there to dry for about one to two hours. Typically this paint dries within 20 minutes where you can handle it, but I like to go ahead and um, just plan for about an hour for it to dry. So the paint has dried. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off this painter's tape. So the next thing you wanna do is grab your diamond wrap. Got this from Dollar Tree, it was one buck, and this is the one that comes in um, pinkish purple color. There is no color name on it, but that's what we went with. You're gonna need about nine inches of this. You can see here that this is a bit taller than the actual light. So when we measured it, we realized that we had to only use about three rows of the diamond wrap. So you just follow along straight down and cut off two of the rows. And there you have it. I don't believe in waste, so these other two rolls will be used for something. So I'll put them with my scraps. The holes across cause the glue to kind of come through because it's not some solid piece. So you need to really be careful with that, especially as you move on and while you're touching it. All right, so now we have the diamond wrap added and that's already so cute. It's amazing what a little um, sparkle can do to an item. We got these butterflies from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna add this butterfly to the top of our light. You do wanna cut this off as close as possible to the material here because if not, it won't lay as flush on the light as you want it to. Now there's a whole lot less of that wiring on the back. I absolutely love this tape by Scotch. It is a Scotch wall mount tape and all you need is a very small piece of it. So I measured it based on the size of the yellow circle in the middle of the light so it's not much of it at all. So once you find your spot just kind of fold it back so that you have a general idea of what you need to cut. There you have it, guys. How cute is that? And once you have your butterfly on, go ahead and fold the wings back. 
so that your butterfly is not flat on there but there's a bit of a curve. Secure your back piece back on. And I'm gonna show you guys how cute this is once it lights up. All right, here I am in one of the darker closets. I just stuck it on the wall and simple press. There it is. At night when the girls have this on, not only is it so super cute, but it actually helps them to see. So the comfort of a nightlight is there. And if you have dark closets at your house, this is also something cute to put in there for your kids too, just in case one of them wakes up before the other and has to get dressed. So hopefully this is a good one for you guys. Hello again, thank you so much for staying through the entire video. You watching the whole video guys and sticking through until the end is so important to help my channel grow. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to like. I appreciate this mom community and teacher community that I'm building here and I can't wait to keep growing and keep making videos that you guys love. If you have questions, comments, anything you want to say to me guys, please go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. You can also reach me on some of my other social media platforms. Instagram at Life and Multiples, Twitter at Life and Multiples. Again, I thank you so much, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys.